Hi guys, welcome to another Funza Academy session. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick way to multiply numbers that are close to 10. Let me give you an example. What is 12 times 14? Using the method I'm about to show you, you could arrive at the answer mentally in a few seconds. The answer in this case is 168. But before we proceed, it's important to understand when to apply this method. As I mentioned earlier, this method is used to multiply numbers close to 10. Here are some examples. As you can see, in all the above cases, each number is close to 10. So could you apply this method to this problem? Yes, you could. However, both these numbers are closer to 20. So it might be easier to use the base 20 method rather than base 10. Alright, with this point in mind, let's jump right in and watch this fabulous method in action. The first thing we do is look at each number and determine how bigger or smaller it is from 10. 12 is 2 more than 10 and 14 is 4 more. Let's write this down. Now we add the first number and the second deficit number. 12 plus 4 is 16. And since our base is 10, we multiply this result with 10. 16 times 10 is 160. We then multiply the two deficits. 2 times 4 is 8. Lastly, we add both results to give us our final answer, which is 168. Let's try another example. What is 11 times 16? 11 is 1 more than 10. 16 is 6 more. We write this down. Now we add the first number and the second deficit. 11 plus 6 is 17. And since the base is 10, we multiply our result with 10. 17 times 10 is 170. We then multiply the two deficits. 1 into 6 is 6. And finally, we add both results to give us 176, our final answer. Alright, if you have understood the concept, pause the video and try out this question, please. And try to do it mentally. Okay, if you got the answer, that's great. If not, do not worry. Let's do it together. 14 is 4 more than 10. 15 is 5 more. So let's put this down. We then add the first number and second deficit. So 14 plus 5 is 19. We could have also added 15 and 4 to get the same result. Please make a note of this. And since our base is 10, we multiply 19 with 10, which gives us 190. We then multiply the two deficits. 4 times 5 is 20. Finally, we add 190 and 20 to get 210, which is our answer. In this final example, we will mix things up a bit. What is 9 times 16? Let's do this together, please. 9 is 1 less than 10. 16 is 6 more. Let's write this down. We then add the first number and the second deficit. So 9 plus 6 is 15. And multiplying this result with 10 our base, we get 150. We then multiply the two deficits. Minus 1 times 6 is minus 6. Finally, we add 150 and minus 6, which gives us 144, which is the correct answer. Now at this point, some of you may be thinking, is this method really faster than what I was taught at school? Well, I certainly think so. But the real strength of this method is seen when you multiply larger numbers like these. So make sure that you understand the concept and keep practicing. We will use this method to multiply bigger numbers in another video. I would now like to end this session with a few lines from a famous Robert Frost poem. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less travelled by, and that has made all the difference. 
I hope this less traveled Vedic math method will help you understand and enjoy the wonders of math.